Tuberculosis, or TB disease, was once the leading cause of death. As early as the 1940s, the first of several medicines was discovered to treat TB, and as a result, TB slowly began to decrease in the United States. The country became less vigilant in the 1970s and early 80s, and cases began to increase again. While TB has begun to decrease, it is still a significant problem in the United States. TB is spread through the air from one person to another. When a person breathes in TB bacteria, it can settle in the lungs and begin to grow. TB in the lungs can be infectious. That's why people with active TB disease are most likely to spread it to people they spend time with every day. It is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which usually attacks the lungs. It can also attack any part of the body, including the kidneys, spine, and brain. It can be fatal if not treated properly. When a person with active TB of the lungs coughs or sneezes, people nearby may breathe in these bacteria and become infected. Symptoms of active TB include a bad cough that lasts three weeks or longer, pain in the chest, weakness or fatigue, coughing up blood, weight loss, loss of appetite, night sweats, fever, and chills. A person with active TB can spread the disease to others. They will usually test positive. They may have an abnormal chest x-ray or positive sputum smear or culture and will display the symptoms outlined above. Not everyone infected with TB becomes ill. Their bodies may have been able to fight the bacteria and stop them from growing. However, the bacteria remain alive and can still become active later. This is called latent TB infection. People with latent TB generally have no symptoms and don't feel sick. They will usually test positive but can't spread TB to others. They can also develop active TB if they don't receive treatment. If you have latent TB, you will need to take medicine to keep from developing active TB. People most susceptible to contracting TB are those with weak or compromised immune systems, such as babies, young children, substance abusers, people with other diseases, people with low body weight, and HIV or AIDS patients. Sometimes people are given treatments for latent TB infection even if their skin test reaction is negative. This is often done with infants, children, and HIV-infected people who have recently been exposed to someone with active TB. This is because they are at very high risk of quickly developing active TB soon after they have become infected with tuberculosis bacteria. The two common methods for getting tested for TB are the TB skin test and the Quantiferin TB Gold test. During the TB skin test, a healthcare worker will inject a small amount of testing fluid called tuberculin or PPD just under the skin on the underside of the forearm. After two or three days, the healthcare worker will check and see if there's swelling where the tuberculin was injected and measure the swelling to determine if you are positive or negative. A positive reaction means that you have been infected with active TB disease. Quantiferin TB Gold Test is a blood test used to measure the response of TB proteins where they are mixed with a small amount of blood. If you have a positive test for TB, your doctor or nurse may do other tests, including chest x-ray, sputum test, blood test, or urinalysis to confirm. If you have active TB, it can almost always be cured. You will need to take several different medicines, as this will do a better job of killing all the bacteria and preventing them from becoming resistant to the medications. The medicine usually taken for treatment is called isoniazid, I-N-H. It kills TB bacteria that are in the body. It is important that you take the pills as prescribed, as TB bacteria die very slowly. Some people have serious side effects from TB medications. Should you develop any, you must call your doctor or nurse right away. Sometimes the bacteria become resistant to two or more of the most important medicines, INH and RIF. This is called multi-drug resistant TB or MDR TB. People with MDR TB disease must be treated with special medicines and must see a TB expert 
who can closely observe their treatment to make sure it is working. Any treatment of active TB will require you to stay home from work or school so that you don't spread the bacteria to others. Your doctor or nurse will tell you when you can return to work or visit with friends. If you are infected or fear you may be, please take all necessary steps to ensure that you don't spread TB. Please understand that it is important not only for your own health, but for the health of your friends, your loved ones, and your community that should you feel you might be infected, you get tested. Together, we can help prevent the spread of TB by being responsible and protecting those around us.